okay, this how-to video is going to talk about a new command window that's available in uh, inside the PCB Editor tools in 17.2 QIR5. So that's Hotfix 31. It's available in Standard, AllCAD Professional, and in Allegro. So predominantly, the command window allows you to enter commands and, and stores a history of what you've done and what, what the tool does sometimes it, it will ask you questions when you're in the dimension dimension edit mode for example or you're doing place replicate um, and the kent have introduced a new command window but you'll need to enable this first so what we'll need to do is we'll close pcb editor off we'll open a windows explorer folder if you go to the uh, address bar at the top and type percent home percent which will take you to your home directory there should be in there a PCB EMV folder and in there is a file called ENV, which is effectively where you store any shortcut keys, um, where any user preferences get written. So we'll just uh, open that with uh, WordPad. So in the top section, what I need to do is under the source tell EMV, um, obviously this is where all the user preferences get written. I need to add a line and I effectively need to say set space and then it's enable underscore command underscore window underscore history. So I'll close and save that, and then we'll restart PCB Editor. So I'm just going to pick a professional license. So when PCB Editor starts, you'll actually see um, we now get a command line area, and this is kind of a bit of a history. Um, so if I want to type a command, for example, so let's say I wanted to do an add. As soon as I start to type add, it will give me effectively all the possible options I can add for, so if I'm looking for add connect, um, and I hit return, that would then launch the root connect command. Um, we'll end that command. If I type something with a typo, for example, so move and then a cache, I'm actually going to get like red feedback. So it's like a proper text editor. It's giving you the, the real feedback when you make an error. What's an error command? Um, so if I type, type in move, it would then find the move command and I could then go and move components. Um, we'll do add again. Um, and you can just work your way through seeing the commands. So if you prefer to use shortcut keys or you want to type a command to see what's going on, getting feedback from the command line is now available inside a PCB editor.